Hello everyone, Ross the Music Teacher here. I'm really happy to present to you Rhythm Made Easy. This is 100 exercises, so if you are looking to improve your rhythm, if you're looking to start from scratch having never read rhythm before, um, if you are just looking to have some fun and some sight reading practice, you are all here in the right spot. I had a lot of fun making this video and book. Of course, you can get the book on music and guitar lessons.shop or Amazon, as well as all my dojo members will have this book in the mail today. I mean, all my dojo heroes, rather. You have to be at the dojo hero um, level, which is 25 bucks a month. So check all that out, guys. But without further ado, I'm going to show you how to read rhythm one simple exercise at a time. So let's get started. All right, <clears throat> let's start from scratch with exercise one from Rhythm Made Easy. Um, first off, we need to understand a couple of things. We need to understand what a time signature is. We need to understand what a bar and a bar line are. And we also need to take a look at some very basic note durations. So I'm gonna grab my circle on the screen here. I'm gonna go to the time signature first. So the time signature here is this four four. This is giving us information about how much time belongs in each bar. Each bar is one bar line to the next. So you can see these vertical lines here, those are your bar lines. Four four means we have four quarter notes. And the beats in four four are actually given to those quarter notes. So that's, it's fairly simple. So we're gonna be counting, um, if you look down here, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, right? So it's all one through four. Um, at a nice consistent pulse. You'll see these whole notes, which are these brown circles without a stem, um, those last for four beats. The half notes, which have the stem, last for two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count one to four as what's called your count in, and then we're gonna start clapping the exercise. So clap wherever you see the note. Here we go, guys. One, two, three, four, 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 one. Moving right along to exercise two, we're gonna be taking a look at what are called quarter notes now. So your quarter note is right there. Um, these last one beat, so we have one, two, three, four, in between that measure. So you'll clap on each, um, each beat of that measure. So let's go ahead and count in, and then we'll move on to another new concept. One, two, three, Four, 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 done. All right, moving on to exercise number three. We're gonna be adding in eighth notes. Now, you'll see a pattern down below at the bottom here. That's not one that we're using here, but I just wanted to, to show you what eighth notes show up as. So either you're gonna see this beam between them, or if it's an eighth note, eighth note by itself, you'll see this flag. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Um, that'll be for a future exercise. Uh, now what we do here is we have two eighth notes per quarter note now. So it goes one and two and three and four and one. Um, so we have entire bars here of this. So go ahead and take a look at your book um, and check out musicandguitarlessons.shop or Amazon where my books are. I'm going to count us in. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, Two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, 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 one,
two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, and four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Done. All right, on exercise four, rhythm made easy. Um, we're gonna be mixing our quarter notes and our eighth notes now. So um, be aware that we are going to have some different rhythms here. I'm gonna go ahead and count us in. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four. Done. All right, exercise five is going to introduce our first rest. So a rest represents silence. So that's a quarter note rest that you see circled there. So it lasts for one beat. And just to go the extra mile, we're gonna take our hands apart on the rests to, to kind of you know, symbolize silence at, at the very least. So here we go, guys, I'm gonna count us in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two, three and four. One, two and three, four and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two and three, four and one and two, three and four. One, two, three, four. Done. All right, exercise six, guys, check out musicandguitarlessons.shop or Rhythm Made Easy on Amazon. Um, we are going to be looking at a new time signature. So you'll see three, four circled there. So we have three quarter notes, and the quarter notes are going to get the beat here. So we get one, two, three, one, two, three as our count from bar to bar. Remember, bars are separated by those lines. So we've got some quarter notes half notes and eighth notes and we're not going to see whole notes here because those last four beats and that's longer than an entire measure so i'm going to go ahead and count us in guys here we go one two three 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 and one two three one two On to exercise seven of Rhythm Made Easy. We're gonna introduce the dotted half note here. So the dotted half note, you can see right there. What that dot does is it takes the note and makes it longer in duration by half of the original value. So a half note is two beats, half of two is one. So you add that onto two and you get a total of three beats. So these, ha these dotted half notes last the entire measure for three, four. So I'm gonna go ahead and count us in. Let's go ahead and go through this. And we're gonna move on to the next exercise. One, two, three. One, two, three, and one, and two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, and two. Three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, done. Exercise eight, rhythm made easy. We're introducing the tie here. So the tie is a little kind of smiley face looking thing that 
you see between these two notes. And that means the, the first note rings through the second. So you hold that first note through the second. So I'm going to count us in, guys. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, and one, and two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, and two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, good. Exercise nine, rhythm made easy. Check it out on musicguitarlessons.shop. Also check out my dojo because that's a lot of fun. Um, so what we're doing here is we're gonna be tying into eighth notes. Uh, sorry, let me get my circle up front. Tying into eighth notes, right? So this is actually gonna create what's called a syncopation. So I'm gonna circle just a little spot that I'm gonna count in. So, so if we had one, two, three, and one, Right, so we are skipping the one, but clapping on the and. So it's it's not the you know the easiest thing at first, but you have a pause button and a rewind button, and I suggest you use those for this one. So here we go, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, and two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. And two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, done. Exercise 10, we're just going to make this one a little longer. No new concepts, but just a little bit of review and a more challenging exercise for you guys. So I'm going to count us in. Here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three. One and two, three and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one and two, three, one and two and three and one, two, three, done. All right, on to exercise eleven. We're going to be introducing a new time signature here, guys. Two, four, two, four time. That means two quarter notes per measure, and the quarter note gets the beat. So we're going to be counting one, two, one, two this go around. Of course, we got to tie some quarters, but the only new piece of information here is the, the new time signature, two, four. So let's go ahead and count in. One, two, one, two, one. Alright, exercise 12 and Rhythm Made Easy. You can find the book on musicandguitarlessons.shop. Um, we're going to be just adding in some more ties to make a little bit of a variation. So I'm going to count you guys in. Here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, and two, and one, two, one, two, one, two, one, and two, and one, two. Exercise number 13, guys, we're going to be introducing the dotted quarter note here, which you can see right here, and it's up in the exercise there and there. So this extends the quarter note by half its original value. So remember, that's what that dot does. So a quarter note equals two eighth notes. So now a dotted quarter note equals three eighth notes, which means we get a rhythm of one and two and. So let's go ahead and try this in the exercise. Go ahead and get rid of that. I'm gonna count us in. Here we go, guys. One, two, one, two, one, two, and one, and two, and one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, and two, and one, two, done.
All right, guys. So now we're going to be introducing another um, different kind of pattern. We have this, oops, wrong one, sorry, this one. Um, we have an eighth note, quarter eighth note, right? So this is tricky too. We get one and two and, right? So that's a really cool and fun pattern. So let's go ahead and count into the exercise up above and you'll see that pattern right there. Here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, and one, and two, and one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, and two, and one, two, done. All right, guys, exercise 15. We're going to close this chapter off. Um, Definitely check out the book at musicandguitarlessons.shop and you might want to join my dojo if you play guitar. Um, you can join for anywhere between two to $25 a month. So this exercise, we're just going to be adding in some variation to make it a little bit more challenging, some more ties and things like that. So I'm going to count us in, um, take as many tries as it takes. Guys, you have a pause and rewind button. So here we go. One, two, one, two, one. Two and one and two and one, two, one, two, one, two and one and two and one, two. Hey guys, before we move on to the next exercise, I just wanted to let you know that you want to be the full package as a musician. So these rhythm exercises are going to help you a lot, but definitely check out my one hour music theory video as well as my two and a half hour how to read music for guitar video on my channel. Subscribe, um, a lot of really great stuff coming up and you can also join, join the dojo um, to get access to some private live streams, some Google Hangouts um, and that kind of stuff. So I'll see you guys soon hopefully. All right. Exercise 16, we're on the chapter two in the book. Of course, you can get this at musicandguitarlessons.shop. Um, so we're on page seven. We're introducing compound time. So compound time is anything with that eight down there in the denominator. So you'll see my circle hovering above the six eight here. Um, that means that we have six eighth notes per measure. Now that does not mean we have six beats per measure. So I wanna be very clear about this. The beat is actually broken into dotted quarter notes. So a dotted quarter note, of course, is going to be a quarter note plus a half of a quarter note, which is an eighth note. That'll give us three eighth notes, right? So if you look, you know, when we're counting this, it's one, two one and uh, two, right? So there's a few ways to count triplets. I prefer the and a uh, method. Um, we're gonna use that for both triplets and duple. Uh, there's some people that say one triplet, two triplet. There's some people that say one KT, two KT. I mean, there's a number of ways of saying this. I prefer the and a uh, because it makes 16th notes in the future easier. Um, I had a guy call me a charlatan because I count my triplets one and a, uh, two and a, uh, which a lot of people do. Um, so if you're the guy, that guy, you know who you are, you, you, uh, you muddy headed fool. Okay, so <clears throat> here we go, guys. We're gonna be counting in um, on the exercise up above my head and it's gonna be two beats per measure broken into three into triplets, right? That's why this is called compound time, the six eight. We have six eighth notes broken into pairs of three. Here we go, one, two, one, two, one and a two and a one, two, one and a two and a 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 one and a two and a. All right, guys, let's move on to exercise 17. All right, guys, we're on to exercise 17 here. Um, here in the book on page seven. Uh, so this is gonna introduce the quarter notes during compound time. Of course, you can grab that book at Amazon and musicandguitarlessons.net. Um, so the, the quarter notes still last two eighth notes here. 
The difference is now that the beat is actually a dotted quarter note, right? So our beat is up here, this dotted quarter note, which means the quarter note doesn't take up the entire beat. So down here, you'll see one and a uh, two. So we're, our quarter note's gonna last through the one and, and then we're gonna hit the a. Uh. So if we did that, we went one and a, uh, two and a, uh, right? So let's count into this exercise, um, and then we'll move on to the next one. So one and a, two and a, 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 one and a, two. All right, let's take a look at the next one, guys. All right, on to exercise 18 course in the book that you can get on Amazon or music and guitar lessons shop this exercise is fairly simple there's nothing new here except we're gonna be switching the eighth note and the quarter note there right so where we have one and uh, two and uh, right so we're gonna be clapping on the two in the and and let this quarter note ring through the uh you can find this figure right here as well as where else are you uh, Looks like that's the only spot. Oh, here it is. I thought it was in two spots. All right, guys, let's take a look at this. I'm gonna go ahead and give us a count in. Here we go. One and uh, two and uh, 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 one two and uh, one and uh, two and a uh, one and a uh, two and a uh, one and a uh, two and uh all right next exercise all right guys exercise 19 we're gonna add in some ties here so let me bring my circle sorry if i don't make eye contact with the camera all the time this is so i can kind of save time with recording videos so we've got a tie here here and here, of course, that means we're gonna hold one note through the next. This is on page eight of the book. Here we go, guys. I'm gonna count us in and we're gonna go right to the next one. So one and a two and a one, two and a one and a 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 two and a one, two. One and uh, two and uh, all right, guys. Exercise twenty. All right, exercise twenty. Um, of course, we're in chapter two of Rhythm Made Easy. You can get this on Amazon or Music and Guitar Lessons Shop. So this is there's nothing new here, guys. We're just doing some more ties. Uh, it's just a little bit of a variation for review. So I'm gonna go ahead and count us in, and then we're gonna move on to a new concept. Here we go, guys. One and uh, two and a uh, one and a 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 uh, two and a uh, one, two and a uh, one, a uh, two and a uh, one and a uh, two, a uh, one and a uh, two. All right, moving along. All right, exercise 21. This is really one of the very few exercises where you're gonna get two concepts in one exercise, but they're fairly simple, so don't worry. Uh, first off, we're doing three eight time, right? I always try to grab that circle and it gets bigger instead of being dragged to the top. So three eight time here up at the corner, that is going to be one beat per measure, right? So we have one and uh, one and uh, one and uh, one and uh, one right so we're getting one and a one and, a, and the next concept is this eighth note rest here so it's just a eighth note of silence that's all so that's that's fairly simple um, of course you get the book at my website or amazon.com rhythm made easy here we go one and a 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 all right, next exercise.
All right, exercise 22 in rhythm made easy. We're adding in some ties here. Of course, we're sticking with the one beat per measure. Um, the next few exercises are gonna be kind of review, just making it more difficult. So here we go, guys. One and a 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 one. All right, next. Exercise 23, rhythm made easy. More ties to make it more difficult. Um, getting a little bit of review in, so here we go, guys. One and a 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 one and. All right, on to twenty something else. Okay, exercise 24, page nine, Rhythm Made Easy. You can get this on Amazon or musicandguitarlessons.shop to support me. We're gonna be adding in more ties, just making it a bit trickier for you guys. So go ahead and try and clap along. I'm gonna count us in. Here we go. One, sorry, hold on. One and a 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 one and all right, on to 25. All right, guys, exercise 25 in Rhythm Made Easy. Um, we're going to make rhythm easy. Of course, grab the book. Okay, another variation just to make this a little bit more challenging. Um, rhythm made easy doesn't mean rhythm is easy. So this one's going to actually introduce a little bit more challenge. Of course, we're starting with an eighth note rest. I'm gonna count you in. There's nothing really new in terms of concepts on this one. It's just a, another variation. We're gonna get some new concepts in extra, exercise 26. So here we go, guys. One and uh, 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 one and, uh, one, and, uh, one and uh. Okay, on to the new concepts. All right, guys, we're going to introduce 9-8 now. You can see 9-8. This is exercise 26 in Rhythm Made Easy. You can get this on Amazon or Music and Guitar Lessons .shop. Um, Three beats per measure now. So 9-8, we have nine eighth notes. That doesn't mean nine beats, right? It means nine eighth notes, and those beats are broken into dotted quarter, of course, giving us three beats. So I'm going to count us in. We get one and two and three and one and two. Three and one and two and 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 three okay guys on to 27. All right, exercise 27 in Rhythm Made Easy. Uh, this exercise is just going to introduce some variation. 28, 29, and 30 are going to do the very same thing. Um, I want to be able to review things. Remember, we have three beats per measure here, all broken into triplets. So one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and, uh, one and, uh, two and uh, three and one and two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, stop. All right, moving on. All right, exercise 28 is gonna add a little more variation on something I want you to notice. This isn't exactly a new concept, but we haven't had a quarter note rest in compound time yet. So of course that lasts for two eighth notes. Um, same thing uh, as in duple time, except the beat has a different duration. Um, so it's not the quarter note that changes duration, it's the beat from, a, from being a quarter note to being a dotted quarter note. 
three beats per measure, guys. Here we go. One and uh, two and uh, three. One and uh, two and uh, three. And uh, one and uh, two and uh, three. And uh, one and uh, two and uh, three. And uh, one and two. Three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, stop. Remember, I'm taking my hands apart on those those quarter notes, and that actually makes it a little bit more fun and challenging. So taking your hands apart here and here, and also you know on on the eighth note rests. So be sure to to treat those rests like they're actually rests. All right, exercise 29 in Rhythm Made Easy is going to introduce some ties um, to make the exercise a little more challenging and hone your skills a bit more. Of course, we still have those quarter note and eighth notes rest and three beats per measure broken into dotted quarter notes. So here we go, guys. One and two, three, one and uh, two and uh, three, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, stop. All right. Exercise 30 in Rhythm Made Easy. Um, this one is going to be just a little bit trickier than the last. It's just a variation. Of course, guys, you should grab the book so you can practice this without the video too. Um, take your time with this. If you need to pause it and go through it without me, do it. And there's also a rewind button if you need. So let's go ahead and call this out. Here we go. One and two and three and oh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, stop. Good job, guys. All right, guys. Exercise 31, Rhythm Made Easy. Of course, you can get this at musicandguitarlessons.shop or amazon.com. Um, so we're gonna be doing 12-8 time. This means that we have four beats per measure broken into triplets. Of course, this dotted whole note lasts all four. Dotted half notes last two. Dotted quarter notes last one. And then we have our mix of eighth notes and quarter notes and all that good stuff below. So I'm gonna go ahead and count us in one through four to get us started. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two, three and a four and a one and a two and a three, four, done. All right, guys, we're on exercise 32 for Rhythm Made Easier. We're just, I mean, we're just going to be adding some ties in here, making this a little bit trickier. All the way through 35 is going to be a bit of a review. We're going to be in 12-8, which, of course, has four beats per measure. Um, you can check this out at musicandguitarlessons.shop. I'm going to go ahead and count us in. Here we go, guys. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, uh, four, and uh, one. And uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four, one and uh, two and uh, three.
three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three, four. All right, next exercise. Exercise 33 in Rhythm Made Easy. We're just going to be making this a little bit tougher than the last exercise. It's a bit of a review. Of course, musicandguitarlessons.shop for the books, guys, or you can join the dojo and get the books in the mail as I complete them. Here we go, guys. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. One and two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three, four. Next exercise, guys. All right, exercise 34, Rhythm Made Easy. This just builds on 33, makes it a little bit more challenging. Of course, you can check out the book at Amazon or musicandguitarlessons.shop. I'm going to count us in. One, and two, three, four. One, and two, and three, and uh, four, and uh, one, and uh, two, and uh, three, and uh, four, and uh, one, and uh, two, and uh, three, and uh, four, and uh, one. And uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one, and, uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four. All right, guys, we're going to make it a bit more challenging with exercise 35. The last exercise of this chapter in Rhythm Made Easy, which you can get on Amazon or musicandguitarlessons.shop. So we're going to be taking a look here. These are some tough measures here, right? So this dotted half note lasts the first two beats, and then we get one, or sorry, three and a uh, four and a. Uh. So it's three and a uh, four and a, uh, right? We get this figure a couple times. We also get it down here. So here we go, guys. One, two. Three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three, four. All right, guys, that concludes this chapter. Exercise 36, Rhythm Made Easy. So what we're doing now is we're going to be adding in the dotted quarter note into our rhythm. So if you look, here's our dotted quarter note. Now we had this in compound time already, but here's the difference. It still lasts for three eighth notes. However, the beat is one and two and, right? So this would be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, right? So we have one and it lasts for this and and three and four and right and we have this right up here um, as well as here so what i'm going to go ahead and do is get this part off the screen and we're going to go ahead and count in um let me change my camera here so that it's not blocking what i'm reading on the screen all right guys here we go one two three four one two and three and four and one and three and four and one two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two three four all right let's move forward
on to exercise 37. Now we're gonna be adding in some ties to make this trickier, of course. This is in chapter three of Rhythm Made Easy here. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be moving to using ties. So that you can see the tie here. Um, so we have one and two and three and four and one. So you, you do, you're not going to clap on the three there. It's going to hold over into the three. We also have a tie here. Um, so that makes a very interesting rhythm. So I'm going to go ahead and count us in, and we're going to go ahead and clap through this one. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. All right, let's move forward. Exercise 38, Rhythm Made Easy, music and guitar lessons shop if you want to order the book. Um, so I'm going to be introducing a really interesting figure where we have a dotted quarter note followed by two eighth notes and another dotted quarter note. So here's our first dotted quarter note, here's the two eighth notes, and the, the next dotted quarter note. And what happens is we clap on the one, it lasts for the and two, and then we get and three, so we clap on the and three, and then the and, and that, that last dotted quarter note lasts for the three eighth notes remaining. So if, if we clapped it, it, was, it would be one and two and three and four and. So one more time. One and two and three and four and, right? So that actually can get a little tricky. Um, let's take a look here and count into this exercise. We're going to be running into this figure right in the first measure here. Um, so be prepared for it. Here we go, guys. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and and three and four and one two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two three four all right let's keep moving exercise 39 rhythm made easy so we're going to be doing another interesting figure here um, this one's actually a little bit trickier still. So this first dotted quarter note, it's going to last all the way into the end of the two. And then we have another quarter note. So that actually lasts into the end of the three where we get a dotted quarter note that goes into the next measure. Um, so we're going to see this in the very first measure of our exercise up here. Um, so be prepared for it right at the beginning. And we're going to go ahead and go at a nice uh, semi-brisk pace. So here we go. One. Two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four. All right. On to exercise 40 and rhythm made easy here. So we're just adding in some ties to make this a little bit more challenging. Of course, this is already a pretty challenging exercise now. So let's go ahead and count in um, and then we'll move forward to some new concepts. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four, and one. 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 Two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and one. Two, three, four, done. All right, on to 16th notes, guys. All right. Exercise 41, we're going to be learning 16th notes today. So if you take a look, we've got our 16th notes here. Um, we're going to be designating the counting with E and a, right? There's two of these 16th notes per eighth note. So whereas we had one and two and three and one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, 
right? So I'm gonna count us in for this part here. We're gonna clap through it. Um, we're in three, four now, so we've got three beats per measure. We're gonna clap through this and we're, then we'll do the exercise up there. So here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One E and a two E and a three E and a done. So let's take a listen to the one up top. We have one, two, three. One, two, three. One and two and three and one E and a two E and a three E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a one, two and three E and a one E and a two and three, one, two and three E and a one E and a two and three, done. Exercise 42 of Rhythm Made Easy is going to introduce the idea of doing eighth notes and sixteenth notes together, right? And there's a few different variations of, way, of ways to do this, and we're going to do one per exercise moving forward from this exercise. So, of course, you know, take some time to sit out in the park under a tree with the book that you should buy at musicandguitarlessons.shop or Amazon. Take some time to get this. I'm gonna count this down below. We're still in three, four here. So I'm gonna count it down below first and then we're gonna go ahead and move into the other exercise. So if we get one, two, three, one and a two and a three and a, right? So the eighth note still takes up two sixteenth notes. So each beat is gonna have one eighth note and two sixteenth notes. And of course these come a little quicker. Um, you can see these patterns up here. So I'm going to go ahead and just count us in. Here we go, guys. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, and two, and three, and one, and a two, and a three, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a one, two, and three, and a one, and a two, and three. One, two, and three, and a one, and a two, and three, done. Forty-three, exercise forty-three. We're going to be doing some more mixing of eighth notes and sixteenth notes. This way, we're going to be doing it the other way around. So before we had eighth and two sixteenths, now we have two sixteenth and eighth. So we get one E and two E and three E and right so if we count it in um, and again we're still in three four here so if i did one two three one e and two e and three e and right so it's just the other way around this way sometimes is easier for certain people trickier for others the next one is going to be trickier for everyone and that one's a lot of fun too so let's count into this one two three one two three one and two and three and one e and two e and three e and one e and two e and three e and one two and three e and one e and two and three one two and three e and one e and two and three done. Exercise 44, Rhythm Made Easy. We're gonna be sandwiching our eighth notes in between the 16th notes now. Of course, you can pick up the book at musicandguitarlessons.shop. Okay, one E, uh, two E, uh, three E, uh, one E. So we're, it's just like one E and uh, two E and, uh, but we're leaving that and out because the eighth note here in between those 16th notes lasts for two 16th notes. So one E, uh, two E, uh, three E, right? So just take that and out um, and hold that note in the middle there. So we're going to get this pattern up here. And then next um, exercise, we're going to mix these all together. So let's get started here. We have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, uh, two, uh, one, uh, two, uh, 
a three e, a one, two and three e, a one e, a two and three, one, two and three e, a one e, a two and three, done. Exercise 45 of Rhythm Made Easy. Just going to be clapping here. Um, going to be mixing up these 16th and 8th notes. Remember, you can always pick up the book if you want to really, you know, have it laid out for you, have time to practice it, pause the video. Um, so we're going to go ahead and count into three here. Here we go, guys. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, and two, and three. Two E and three and a one E and two E a three one and a two E and three and a one E and two E a three one two and three E a one E and two and a three done. Exercise 46. 46 through 50, we're just going to be mixing some of the concepts from before. So I want to just bring a few things to your attention, and then we're going to count into this one. So this is in 2-4, first off. 2-4, two, two beats per measure. We're going to be mixing eighth notes and sixteenth notes. Um, so, of course, it's one and uh, two E and one. Two and, and here, here we have our um, dotted quarter note and eighth note. So this one is one and one, right? So this is a, a pretty cool one too. And here's the really tricky part down here, guys. Our tie between the one and a two E and. So I'm just going to clap that one a couple times so that you guys um, understand it. So we get one and a two E and one and a two E and. Otherwise, this should be just a piece of cake, right? Prepare to be challenged for the next five exercises because we're going to take number 46 here and all the way through 50, we're going to make it just a little harder. Um, I don't know if we're going to turn it quite up to 11, but it's going to challenge you. So here we go, guys. One, two, one, and a two, e and one, and two, and one. One and a two E and 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 one and a two done. All right, let's mix it up a little bit with exercise forty seven. One of the things I want you to check out is this tie right in the middle here. Um this is the two sixteenth followed by an eighth twice in a row. So it's kind of like the one we did last time, which is right here. But now we have one E and two E and, right? So one E and E and. It's kind of a cool feeling rhythm. Um, otherwise, this stuff should be pretty straightforward. So I'm going to count you in. Remember, we're in two four here. Um, so here we go. One, two, one. And one and two, one and a two e and one e and two e and one and a e and one and a e and one and a two, one. Very cool. Moving right along to exercise forty-eight. This has a really cool measure here, guys right here. You'll see we have the one E, uh, E, and one E, uh, E, and one E. It's kind of cool. So um, we have a tie between those two figures. Of course, we have the 16th, 8th, 16th, then two 16ths and an 8th. So it's one E, uh, two E, and one E, uh, E, and one E, uh, E, and. Um, so these these rhythms get, get a bit funkier as we go, and they're a lot of fun. Um, so let's go ahead and count into this one, and then we're going to move on to 49. Uh, notice that I try to move when I'm kind of counting. That's because it's just easier to keep time when you're moving with it. You get in the character of it, so don't be afraid of that. Um, 
Here we go, guys. One, two, one, and a two, e, and one, two, and one, and two, and one, e, a two, e, and one, e, and two, e, and one, and a two, e, and one, and a two, e, and one, and a two, one. Exercise 49, almost at the halfway point in Rhythm Made Easy. Of course, you can get this at Amazon or musicandguitarlessons.shop. Um, this is a fun exercise. These ones are really fun, guys. They're challenging, um, but, but they're really fun. And the thing I want to bring to your attention about this one, it, not my nose, is... Uh, <laughs> this 16th note here, these two 16th notes, taking the place of the 8th note from the last one. So we actually get 1 and a 2 E and 1, 2 and a and 2 and 1 E, a E and 1 E and 2, right? So this is a pretty um, cool rhythm here, replacing that 8th note with some, some 16th notes. Uh, otherwise, everything remains basically unchanged except this. We have one E, uh, E, and. So you've seen it, but it's just changed a little bit. A little bit more challenging. So don't forget to move yourself a little bit when you do this, guys. Here we go. One, two, one, and a two, E, and one, two, and a one, and two, and one, E, a two, E. And one E and two E and one E a two E and one and a two E and one and a two done. All right, congratulations to everybody that made it to exercise fifty. Halfway point. This is a challenge. More challenges to come. Um, we're taking some of the patterns from the last exercise and we're adding in this super tricky and cool one. Um, so this is that eighth note sandwiched by 16, two sixteenth notes twice in a row with a tie in between. So one E, a uh, two E, a uh. one E, a uh, two E, a. Uh. Now that's not the easiest thing to do. So one, two, one E, a uh, two E, a uh, one. That's how it goes. Um, Let's go ahead and count into the beginning. Again, this one is not super easy, guys, so um, pause it and rewind it however many times you need to, and don't be afraid to move a little bit. One, two, one, and a two, e, and one, and two, and a one, and two, and one, e, a two, e, a one, e, and two, e, and one, e, a two, e, a one, and a two, e, and one, and a two, and. Hey guys, before we move on to the next exercise, I just wanted to let you know that you want to be the full package as a musician. So these rhythm exercises are going to help you a lot, but definitely check out my one hour music theory video as well as my two and a half hour how to read music for guitar video on my channel. Subscribe. Um, a lot of really great stuff coming up, and you can also join, join the dojo um, to get access to some private live streams, some Google Hangouts, um, and that kind of stuff. So I'll see you guys soon, hopefully. All right, guys, venturing in to the last half of Rhythm Made Easy, exercise 51. We're going to be using 16th notes here in compound time starting with 3 8 which has one beat per measure consisting of 3 8 notes as a triplet right so we feel those triplets as one beat so we get one and uh, one and uh. now I count these 16th notes one E and E uh, E there are a couple different ways to do it so anybody out there that wants to come at me for the way that I do it go ahead I don't care but this works and you'll get the 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 rhythm correct if you follow this so I, there you go um, so if we count in one and uh, one E and E, uh, E, right? It's a very nice, smooth way to get those six notes without tripping over your tongue. Let's go ahead and count in here, guys. We get one and one and one and one and one E and E, uh, E, one E and E, uh, E, one E and E, uh, E, one and one and. 
All right, let's try out some variations on this. Exercise 52, so we're gonna be kind of using a mix of eighth notes and 16th notes here. Um, first is the two eighth, then two 16th pattern. So as you can see, this counting goes one and a uh, E, one and a uh, E. So let's go ahead and count to this exercise up, up here. Um, hopefully that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this, this lettering system for counting really shines through in using these variations. So here we go, guys. One. And a one, and a one, and a one, and a one, and a e one, and a e one, and a e one, and a one, and a done. Moving on to exercise fifty three. So we get one and e a one and e a, and you can find that pattern up there at the top. So here we go. Um, let's go ahead and just count on into this one. Here we go, guys. One and a one and a one. Next. On to exercise 54. Moving right along, guys. Um, we're going to be doing the 2 16th to 8th note variation now. So this is 1 E and uh, 1 E and uh, 1 E and uh, 1 E and uh. Not to be confused with the way that we do 16th notes in common time, which is 1 E and a, 1 E and a, right? So this is 1 E and a, 1 E and a. All right, here we go, guys. 1 and a, 1. That was a weak clap. 1 and a, 1 and a, 1 and a, 1. Good. Exercise 55. We're going to be moving into some not so new territory, but we're going to be mixing up the variations, guys. So check out the book on Amazon and musicandguitarlessons.shop. I'm going to count us in. Um, here we go. One and a one and a one and a one. Ah, uh, good. Exercise 56. Guys, this is my third take on this. Um, I keep running out of breath. That's a problem. So towards the bottom, I'm going to just count the one and the two probably, just so that I don't turn purple and fall over on the couch. Um, so just so you know, there's a lot of syllables here. So... I can't you necessarily say them all because I'll run out of breath. Um, we're going to be working in 6-8 here, and that means we have two beats per measure now. One and uh, two, and uh, we're going to be doing a quarter note followed by two sixteenth notes. One and, so one and a uh, E, right? Next we have an eighth note followed by four sixteenth notes, so two and E, a uh, E. One uh, e two and e uh, e, right? So if we count it into that one and uh, two and uh, one and uh, e two and e, uh, e, right? Now let's check out the one up here. Again, I'm gonna run out of breath, so at some point, expect me not to say the syllables right around where you see all the sixteenth notes most likely. Um, but up top, I will be sure to get them all. Um, down bottom where I start to run out of breath. Yeah, basically. Let's count in. One and uh, two and uh, one and uh, two and uh, e one and uh, two and uh, e one and uh, e two and uh, e one and uh, e two and e uh, e and e uh, e two and e uh, e one and e uh, e two and e uh, e one and e uh, e two and e uh, e one and uh, 
too. And uh, I actually didn't run out of breath. Very cool. <laughs> Exercise 57. This one introduces the two sixteenth notes followed by an eighth note followed by another two sixteenth notes, that kind of combination here. Um, what we're going to be doing is counting at one E and a E. So if it was two and a one E and a E, right? So fairly simple, fairly straightforward. You're going to find it up here, right here. So let's go ahead and count into this exercise. One and uh, two and a uh, one and a uh, two and a uh, e one a uh, two and a uh, e one and a uh, e two and a uh, e one and a uh, e two and e a uh, e one e and a uh, e two and e a uh, e one and e a uh, e two e and a uh, e one e and e a uh, e two e and a uh, e one two done. Exercise 58, guys. I'm going to count us in here. Um, nothing super special here. We've got some ties going on. Um, it's fairly straightforward. We're just going to make it a little bit tougher. So let's get ready to count in. Of course, you can get the book on Amazon or musicandguitarlessons.shop. Here we go. One and uh, two and oh, one and uh, two. And a uh, e one and a uh, two, a uh, e one and a uh, e two and a uh, e one and a uh, e two and e a uh, e one e and a uh, e two and e a uh, e one and e a uh, two e and a uh, e one and e a uh, e two e and a uh, e one two and uh, done. Exercise fifty nine. Music and guitar lessons shop to get the book or Amazon. Um, so we're just gonna add some ties in, like here, 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 and here. Um, just to make it a little more challenging, we're gonna do the same thing with the next one. So let's go ahead and count in, guys. One and uh, two and uh, 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 one and and e a e one e and a e two and e a one and e a two e and a e one and e a e two e and a e one two done. Exercise sixty rhythm made easy. Now we're gonna add in a couple more ties just to make this trickier here and here. Um, so take your time with this, guys. Remember the ties make one go into the other. It syncopates it and makes it, a, a, you know, quite a bit more difficult. Um, hit the rewind button if you need to. Here we go, guys. One and uh, two and uh, one and uh, two and uh, one and uh, two and uh, one and two and one and two and two. Exercise 61, introducing the dotted eighth note here, which lasts for three sixteenth notes. So <clears throat> we're going to skip the uh and hit the E right after it, and then you see how that works, right? So let's just count in to this one right here. Um, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two. Now, of course, we're in 9-8 time, right? You can see 9-8 here. Um, so I'm going to count us in. We're going to take a look at some other variations with this dotted eighth note. So one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, and uh, two and uh, three. And 
and uh, e1 and uh, 2 and uh, e3 and uh, 1 and uh, e2 and uh, 3 and uh, and uh, 2 and uh, 3 and uh, e1 and uh, 2 3exercise 62 let's dive right in guys we're gonna be moving the 16th note to the middle of the triplet now so if I were to count into this one here it'd be one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and three, uh, three and uh. all right so same kind of deal we're skipping um, the and in favor of the E after the and. So let's try it up here, up top. Of course, you can get the book at Amazon or musicandguitarlessons.shop. Here we go. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one, <clears throat> two and uh, three and uh, Two. All right, guys, let's keep this momentum going. Exercise 63. What we're going to be doing now is moving our 16th note to the beginning of the triplet there, you'll see. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and count in here. So we get one and and again this is for this lower exercise we're going to do that one up there next so one and uh two and uh three and uh one and uh two and uh three and uh, one more time so three and uh one and uh two and uh three and uh. okay now let's go ahead and count into this one up here one and uh two and uh three and uh one and uh two and uh three and uh one and uh two and uh three and uh one and uh two and uh three and uh one and uh two and uh and uh one and uh two and uh one and uh one and uh two and uh three and uh and uh two and uh three and uh one and uh two and uh three and uh exercise 64 guys this one's going to be mixing some of the variations of 16th notes dotted eighth notes and eighth notes from the last exercises this one's a nice challenge and the next one's going to be even a little bit tougher still um Definitely check out the book at musicandguitarlessons.shop. I'm going to count us in. Pause it if you need to. Um, remember, you know, these aren't always going to be first try to spend as long as you need to on each exercise. Here we go, guys. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one. Exercise 65, guys. Please open the beautiful book that you got from music and guitar lessons.shop and maybe Amazon.com. Who knows? Um, this one is a review from everything before, and we're also doing it in 12 8, so we're off to four beats per measure. Four beats per measure here, guys. This, this is a tough one. I want you guys to stop and look at it before you go through it with me in the video. However, there are no new concepts. These are all patterns we've, we've seen before. I've just mixed them all up and made it really challenging. So Take some time. I'm going to go ahead and count in here in the video, but pause it and take some time. So here we go. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, 
and four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two. Exercise 66. Here we go, guys. This one's just a little tougher than 65. Same idea, though. All concepts we've seen, all in 12-8. Um, and some extra ties, things like that in there. Uh, so take some time to look through this. Coming up, we're going to have some new patterns, but this one's all stuff we've seen before. It's a challenge, though, so I'm going to count us in. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, e four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, e four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, e four and uh, one and uh, two, three. Exercise sixty seven, guys. Um, we have a new pattern here, so let's just count this out. Sorry, let me get it in the middle of the screen. Um, so if I did one and uh, two and uh, let's do it one more time. One and uh, two and uh, so as you can see, not necessarily the easiest thing. So let's go ahead and count into this one. Not going to go too fast, guys. Here we go. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one. Good job, guys. Rhythm made easy. Exercise 68, guys. And this one, we're going to be doing a little bit of a variation on the last exercise. Um, I'm going to go nice and slow. Definitely check out the book on Amazon. Um, here we go, guys. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, three, four and uh, and uh, two and uh, three and uh, three, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, three, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, three, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, three, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, three, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, three, and uh, three, four and uh, one two and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one two three four all right guys exercise 69 and rhythm made easy amazon.com music and guitar lessons shop to check out the book we're gonna check out this new pattern down here this one goes one e and e ah, right so this is 16th 8th 16th 8th um, 
I know you guys can understand how that fits together if you've done these so far. So let's go ahead and just count into this exercise. I'm going to count it nice and slow. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, three, four and uh, one and uh, two three, and uh, three and uh, three, four and uh, one and uh, two three, and uh, three and uh, three, four and uh, one and uh, two three, and three, uh, three, three and uh, three, four and uh, one and uh, two three, and uh, three and uh, three, four three, and uh, one and uh, two three, and uh, three, three and uh, three, four three, and uh, one three, and three, uh, two three, and uh, three, three and uh, three, four three, and three, uh, one and uh, Exercise 70, closing off this chapter of Rhythm Made Easy. Check out the book on Amazon or music and guitar lessons.shop, guys, so that you can open it up and go nice and slow through it because this one's tough. I'm going to count us in, but of course, try it yourself first. Here we go. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, three, four and uh, one. And uh, two three, and uh, three and uh, three, four and uh, one and uh, two three, and uh, and uh, three, four and uh, one and uh, two three, and three, uh, three, three and uh, three, four and uh, one and uh, two three, and uh, three and uh, three, four three, and uh, one and uh, two three, and uh, three, three and uh, three, four three, and uh, one three, and three, Two three and uh, three three and uh, three four and three uh, one and uh, two three four. Exercise seventy one rhythm made easy. We're moving on to dotted eighth notes in common time. All right, guys. So real quick, these dotted eighth notes still last for three sixteenth notes. But now our beats have four sixteenth notes in, instead of six. So um, this part down here is going to be one, a two, three, a four. So I'm going to count you in up here. Follow along. We've got these dotted eighths with sixteenths here, right? And we've got some eighth note stuff going on. And we're in four four, so four beats per measure. Definitely check out musicandguitarlessons.shop for my books. One, two. Three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, a two, three, a four, one, a two, three, a four, one, two, three, and four, and one, a two, and three, a four, one, a two, and three, a four, and one. Four and one, two, three, four, done. Exercise seventy two, guys. We're going to be swapping the order of the eighth note and the sixteenth, or the dotted eighth note rather, and the sixteenth note. So now we have sixteenth note first. So it, it, if I were to count this sucker here, it'd be one, two, three, four. Pretty simple. Um, just the other way around is the last exercise. Of course, take some time with this book that you got on Amazon or musicandguitarlessons.shop. Take your time with it and then follow along with me because I'm going to count in now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, and four, and one, eight. two, and three, eight. four, one, eight. two, and three, eight. four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three.
Exercise 73 adds on some variation from the last exercise. Um, so nothing new here, guys. Take some time to read through it and then follow along with me. Um, these are all concepts we've covered before, so I'm going to go ahead and just start counting in. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and a four, eight, and one, eight, two, eight, and three, eight, four, and a one, eight, two, three, eight, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, eight, and two, a three, eight, four, one, a two, and three, eight, four, and one, and two, and three, and one. Three, four. Exercise 74 is going to add some variation. Um, we're going to do this all the way through exercise 85. We're going to get a lot of practice on these 16th notes variations with dotted eights and things like that. So let's get started. Of course, you should have got the book already from musicandguitarlessons.shop. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Exercise, uh, exercise 75 adds more variation. Um, some more ties here, so I'm going to give us a count in. Of course, musicandguitarlessons.shop.com. Check out the dojo. All right, here we go, guys. One, two, three, four. One. Hey guys, before we move on to the next exercise, I just wanted to let you know that you want to be the full package as a musician. So these rhythm exercises are going to help you a lot, but definitely check out my one hour music theory video as well as my two and a half hour how to read music for guitar video on my channel. Subscribe. Um, a lot of really great stuff coming up, and you can also join, join the dojo um, to get access to some private live streams, some Google Hangouts, um, and that kind of stuff. So I'll see you guys soon, hopefully. Exercise 76 and Rhythm Made Easy. You can get this at musicandguitarlessons.shop. We're in 3-4, but we're using the same building block. So I'm going to count you into three. Take your time, pause, rewind. That's all that good stuff. That's why I have the video up. Here we go, guys. One, two, three. One, two, and a three. Eight. One, two, and a three. A one, two, a three. A one, two, eight. three. A one, and a two, eight. three. A one, eight. and two, eight. three. A one, eight. Exercise 77, guys. Um, this is in 3-4, some more 3-4 goodness with the concepts we've already talked about today. Um, so we're going to count, count in. Um, nothing new here, just some ties and some more challenging stuff. So here we go. One, two, three. One. Two, eight, 
two, three, three, oh, one, two, three. Exercise 78, guys, music and guitar lessons.shop. So in this exercise of uh, Rhythm Made Easy, we are going to add some more ties, some more, some more variations, all that kind of good stuff. So counting us into three, pause, rewind, all that good stuff. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, and a three. One, two, and a three. A one, two, a three. Exercise 79, more variation for you guys. Music and guitar lessons shop. I'm not gonna waste time chatting. I'm gonna go ahead and count us right into this one. Here we go, guys. One, two, three. One, two, a three. One, two, and a three. A one, two, three. Three, and one, two, three. Three, a one, a two, three. Three. Exercise 80. This one's fun, a little more challenging. Just another variation, nothing new, so I'm going to count us in. Music and guitar lessons shop. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, a three. One, two, and a three. A one, two, e. three. E. A one, and two, e. three. A one, a two, e. Three, a one, two, e, three, e, a one, e, a two, e, three, a one, two, three. Exercise 81, guys, Rhythm Made Easy. Check out the book at musicandguitarlessons.shop. We're in 2 4 now. 2 4, same concepts. Just a different time signature. This, of course, means two beats per measure. So I'm going to count us in. Um, here we go. One, two, one, two, and one, and two, and one, two, a two, one, a two, one, a two, one, and two, and one, a two, one, e, a two, e, one, two. Exercise 82. Guys, 2 4, rhythm made easy. Music and guitar lessons. Shop. We're in 2 4, 2 beats per measure. Nothing else is really new here, just another variation to further challenge you guys. And congratulations for making it this far in the first place. But more challenge is necessary. Here we go. 1, 2, 1, 2, and 1, and 2, and 1, e, a 2, e, 1, a 2. Exercise 83, two, four, some more ties. We're just gonna make it more challenging. Um, don't forget to check out my books. So here we go. One, two, one, two, three, and one, and two, and one, two, a two, one, a two, one, two, a two, one, and two, and one, a two, one, two, a two, one, two. Exercise 84, guys. This one's another further variation, so I'm just going to count us in. Here we go. One, two, one, two, and one, and two, and one, two, and two, and one, and two, one, two, and two, one, and two, and one, and two, one, two, and two, and one, two, and two, and two.
exercise 85, guys. So we're going to finish off this chapter. This is in 2-4, just another further variation. Here we go. One, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and one, two, and two, and one, and two, one, two, and two, one, and two, and one, and two, one, two, and two, one, two, and two, and done. On to exercise 86, guys. We are going to start mixing duple and triple. You can see here we have triplets where we should be just counting one. And so I'm going to go ahead and count you into this one. I want you to follow along nice and close, and you'll hear the effect. So if we get one, two, one, and two, and one, and a two, and a one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and Those triplets have to be nice and even, guys, so take another listen if you need to. Alright guys, exercise 87. Um, much like last time, we're going to be implementing triplets here. So we had that, tri that kind of triplet that we used last time, and then we're also going to use another pattern within that triplet, and you should recognize this from our compound time exercises. Now we're going to get that one and a da, right? So check out the book at Amazon.com or musicandguitarlessons.shop. I'm going to count us in. Remember the key here, guys, to have some even triplets. So here we go. One, two, one and two and triple and triple and one and two. Exercise 88, um, we're going to be just doing a variation on this idea, nothing really new here, so I'm going to give us a count in, here we go, one, two, one, and two, and 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 one, Two. Exercise 89 from Rhythm Made Easy. Check it out on Amazon at musicandguitarlessons.shop. Okay, guys, we're going to be adding in some ties and things like that, just making this one a little more challenging. So here we go. One, two, one, and two, and one, and a two, and a one. Two and a one and a two and a one and two and one and a two and one and two and a one two. All right, exercise ninety, guys. Here we go. This one's just gonna make the last one a little tougher with some more ties. So I'm gonna count you right in. Check out the book. One, two, one and two. All right, guys, now we're going to be mixing our 16th notes into these triplets. You've seen these patterns before, so I'm not going to show you how to, uh, how to count them, but of course, it works the same way, but we're now in common time, so these triplet patterns change up. So it's the same concept from the last set of exercises. This one is just a bit tougher. Also, we're in 3-4 time here, so we get 1, 2, 3, 1. And two and a three. One and two and e a three. One and a two and a three. One and two and a e three. One and two and e a e three. One e and a two and a three. One and two e and a three. One and two and a three and a one. Two.
All right, guys, exercise 92. I'm not going to flash the book on the screen anymore. If you haven't gotten it by 92, that's okay. But I am going to count you in. This one's a little bit more challenging. Um, and definitely going to want to take this slow. Here we go, guys. One, two, three. One, and two, and a three. One, and two, and a three. One, and a three. One, and a three. One, and a three. One, Two and a three. One, and two, and a three. One, and two, and a three. One, and two, and a three. And a one, two, three. All right, guys, exercise 93. Here we go. This one's very hard. It's got some ties. We're going to be mixing the dotted eighth note into those triplets now. So tread bravely. Here we go. One, two, three. One and two and a three. One and two and e a three. One and a two and a three. One and two and a three. One and two and e a three. One e a two and a three. One Two e a e a three, one and two and a three, a one. All right, exercise ninety four. Um, I'm gonna count you in. We're doing dotted eights with both the duple and the triple now, so it's pretty tough. Here we go, guys. One, two, three. One and two and a three, one. And two and e a three. One, a two and a three. One and two and a e three. One and two and e a e three. One e two and a three. One and two e and e a three. One and two and a three. A one. All right, exercise 95, we're going to be mixing duples and triplets still. There's no new concepts throughout the rest of the book. Next five exercises will be in 4-4, four, four, but this 3-4, pause it if you need to. I'm going to count us in. One, two, three. One and two and a three. One and two and e a three. One and two and a three. One and two and a e three. A one and two and e a e three. One e two and a three. One and two e and e a three. One and two and a three. A one. All right, on to exercise ninety six. We're in four four time now, four beats per measure. Um, this is going to close off the book. So for anybody that's made it this far, congrats. We've got our last. Five exercises. Um, so I'm going to count us in. There's nothing new here. We're just adding in common time. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One and two and a three and four e and a one and two and a three and four e a one and two and a three and four and a one and two and a three and a four. E. All right, exercise 97. We're gonna add in some ties to make this one a little tougher. Here we go, guys. One, two, three, four. One and two and a three and four e and a one and two and a three and four e a one and two and a three and four and a one and two and a three and a four e. Moving right along to exercise 98, guys. This one's got more ties to make it a little tougher. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One and two and a three and four e. A one and two and a three and four e. A one and two and a three and four and a one and two and a three and a four e.
Exercise 99, we're putting some more 16th notes in there, guys. So a little tougher, uh, but of course, no new concepts. So I'm going to go ahead and count us in. One, two, three, four. One and two and e, uh, three and four e. Uh, one and two and uh, three and four e. Uh, one and two e and uh, three and four and uh, one and two and e, uh, three and uh, four e. One. All right, everyone, exercise 100, rhythm made easy. Here's the last one. Congratulations on making it this far. If you're able to clap all these exercises, you're going to be a heck of a better musician. Um, so check out my website and my dojo. Join the dojo. Everybody loves the dojo, including you. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, and, three, and four, and three, and one, and two, and three, and four, and three, and four, and three, and four, and three, and four, and three, and three, and four, uh, one, and two, and three, and uh, four, and three.